Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about the Defender Hardtop. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Defender Hardtop is the commercial variant of the Defender passenger vehicle. What I wanna to do today is give you an overview between standard and this version, which is probably one of the most modified ones we've done so far. Right, so let's start with the paint. Paint may seem simple to a lot of people, but it's probably the, the most labor intensive and laborious part for us. We strip down the entire car. Everything below this level is, is taken off the car. All of the lower body moldings, the front and the rear diffusers, the, the, the center grill for the black pack, everything is stripped down and we high build that from the stippled plastic. We finish it and repaint it in the body color, which in this case is Santorini black. What we would do in the instances where we have a vehicle which is coloured, for example, like an Iger Grey car, we would maybe work with a contrast because Iger Grey sometimes, you know, if you colour coded the whole car, there would be so much grey, it just wouldn't look great. So what we would do in that instance, we would, for example, make the grille black, the, the lower mouldings black, but then also the arches would go around the corner of the car and they would be in black as well to give you that contrast look, which we'll show you now. So one of our recent introductions is uh, the new Urban Crest badge, which sits on the front over uh, the OEM badge. Now, one thing we've had to be mindful of, uh, not many people know, but the ACC unit, which is the adaptive cruise control, actually sits behind this badge. So we can't have anything with a thickness or a metallic finish to it because it'll actually play havoc with the internal systems, which is the, the warning for the adaptive cruise. So we've gone for a nice, simple vinyl cut sticker uh, which is printed with our urban crest on to finish off the front end alongside our urban badges, which are obviously on all of our vehicles. So moving to the side of the car, uh, we've got two options for wheels, and this particular wheel is the WX2, which is our Explorer wheel. Two finishes, satin black and gloss black. This particular customer's chosen gloss black. Works great with all of the gloss finish on the car, but one thing they've done is they've tried to be slightly individual. Now, we've finished their calipers in gloss red with an urban decal. It's quite, a, a, again, quite a labor intensive job. We lose a car for maybe three or four days because we take all of the calipers off. We finish them properly. Uh, we oven bake them and we put them back on the car so you don't get any diminishment over time. So another addition on the car is our urban high power roof light here. Now it comes with a, a branding pack on the side and it it's basically houses four laser linear six lights. Now they're high power LED lights, which are not designed for normal road use. They're really only designed for like country lanes, light, it lighting up dark roads uh, and not for main road use. So black shadow side steps. Um, this is something that we manufacture in house now. Now we've got the, the, the twin black step versus the normal silver step, which comes on an OEM step. You've got two types, you've got a 110 step, which has got two pads, you've got a 90 step, which has got a single pad, obviously with one door. We run a really, uh, uh, an oversized chunky tube, which is fixed to the car, so it's nice and strong. When you stand on it, there's no bend or flex, really, really hard wearing um, and, and powder coated finish. So it's obviously durable because we know that the Defender might be put through its paces. Side lunchbox. Now, I don't even know whether it's supposed to be called the lunchbox, but we call it the lunchbox for some reason. It's a storage box that comes from Land Rover. It comes in a standard silver finish and we basically repaint this and brand it up in a, in a gloss black finish to match the rest of the car. So to the rear of the car, we've got some more urban elements. Uh, we've got the continuation of the black pack, as I explained earlier, the whole diffuser and the side moldings come out and they're repainted in gloss black. We've got our rear wheel cover with urban branding. You've got two choices. We've got an urban crest or you've got urban text across the middle. Then we have our rear wing assembly. So again, like the light bar, it comes with side branding. It's a great addition. It's probably one of our most popular parts. Uh, most people spec it on every car. So one option that's becoming really popular is our NAS lights. Uh, NAS stands for North American Spec. They're a smoked version of the, the Defender rear light. So it's the whole cluster that we replace. So you can opt for the standard red lights, which Alex will show you now or you can opt for the smoked version, which is available for European and US spec cars. So in conjunction with the storage box on the other side, 
on the opposite side of the car, you can order the ladder, which gives you access to the roof rack. Now, these are OEM options that we fit alongside ours to complement the finish, and we call this our all-terrain pack. So one option we've got on the car, which is really, really popular, is reinstatement of a second row seat. Now, when the car comes from the factory, it's got a bulkhead and a, a viewing panel through there with just two single seats in the front. Now, when we in install this occasional seat, it's got a, a very similar lever to factory, so it gives a nice you know, OEM finish. One thing we do is put in a new handle and some electric window switches and reinstate the, the windows, which are basically blanking panels from the factory. Then to finish off, we put the carpets in to give you that nice factory finish when it's done. So there you go, guys, the Defender 110 hardtop variant with full urban pack and all-terrain package. This car pretty much has every option that we do so far. We've got more options coming soon. So keep your eye on the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe.